Hello guys, it's Leonardo. Today we're going to learn about how to do hardware debugging okay, in the Zim platform. Basically, we're going to use the previous video core, the multiplier that we developed in the previous video, and we're going to show how to see what signals are passing through the Axie Light interface. Okay, guys, so just to recapitulate what you saw in the previous video, we have a multiplier, okay, we create in Verilog a simple core just to multiply two numbers, okay, and we connect the PS part, I mean the ARM part, with the simple multiplier. By default, Vivado creates an axis interconnect to create, uh, to allow more than one axis light or axis four cores to be connected to the same channel, okay. What you're going to learn today specifically is going to add a new core called ELA, it's, uh, ELA comes from Integrated Logic Analyzer, okay? that will allow us later to see which signals are passing in this interface here if you want later to debug and see why some stuff is not working as it should. Okay, so let's go. Okay, just to refresh our memory, we have the simple multiplier core, we have the axis interconnect, and we have the sync PS part. They communicate all together through the Axie Light interface. The objective of this training will be to add an ILA core that is going to be used to analyze this Axie channel. So let's get started. Just click on Add IP and you type ILA and bring back your block design. Okay, now we just connect the signal that we want to analyze. Good. And we also need to put the clock signal that you're going to control the ILA core. Here, we are going to use the clock from the zinc itself. This has a good advantage, but the only problem is that we need to execute the some program in the zinc part, in the PS part. Otherwise, the clock will not work and we are not going to be able to see the signal. Now, we just configure our, our IP core to have the capture control and the advanced trigger and also we say that the protocol that is going to analyze is the axial light. Now that is done, we just generate the bitstream. I'm going to accelerate the video because this can take up to 9 or 10 minutes, okay? After the bitstream is complete, we need to export it to the Xilinx SDK. Uh, as I mentioned before, we need to have this, otherwise the clock, will not, the clock that is driving the ILA core will simply not work. Once in the, in the Xilinx SDK, we just program the FPGA and uh, we put some sample program, basically the previous example to work. After the FPGA being programmed, we just run the sample. Good, so it's still running. So this is enough to force our clock to run. Now, if you go to Hardware Manager and we connect our, our FPGA, okay, open, auto connect, the, the Vivado will be able already to see your ILA core. At this point, you can configure which condition will trigger your logic analyzer to run. In our case, as we are using the Axi Light, we're going to use the signal ready or validate in the rising edge. I'm just deleting the, the previous one. Yes, I'm using the valid, no, the ready. Okay, the, the red signal, we just configure it to a rising edge. 
And at the moment that the red signals go from 0 to 1, is going, the ILA core is going to run and is going to capture the signal. Okay? We just arm now our, our ILA core and uh, we switch back to the Xilinx SDK to run the program again. After this is done, the ILA will be able to capture all the signals and they are, they are here. Okay? Here, if you, if you take a look in the bottom part, you can see the, the first register with the, zero, with the values 2 and 3, which are the operands that we use to multiply, to exercise our multiplier. Okay? And we finish this. Uh, this is basically how you do a hardware debug. Hope that you guys use it a lot because it's really useful. And uh, let's finish the training for today. See you in the next video.